Hello, anyone and everyone, welcome to Ed Troll Plays Loop Hero, the new hotness for March right now, baby. Loop Hero, developed by Four Quarters, published by Devolver Digital, you know them, they're pretty popular, right? Came out March 4th, 2021. Uh, the Lich has thrown the world into a timeless loop and plunges its inhabitants into a never-ending chaos. Wield an expanding deck of mystical cards, place enemies, buildings, and train along each unique expedition loop for, a, for the brave hero. Well, the demo was out for a while, and I was going to play the demo, but I didn't want to play it because it was so close to the game being released. So we're just jumping into it. The stars in the sky are coming out one by one. Do I, do I press? Okay. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there was still hope. I need to make it before. Before it's too late. Oh, that looks... That's, that is a very good visual image right there. I love that. This art. The world will be uh, destroyed, even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone willing to do the impossible. That's me, in a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do any good, I guess. Planning. To change between adventure and traveling through the map, and planning, stop, mode, so uh, switch to click space. I hope I'll be able to find some, uh, that shelter before nightfall. Such a thing as night still ex even exists without a sky, of course. Let me see if I can turn up the music a little bit. Alright, that about that. Oh, I guess I'm going to clear off my screen again. Hold on. And we're back. I'm right, just gonna keep going through the loop. Pay attention to the day. Wait, wait. To the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear. Hence the slime. I see you, slime. Uh, at the at the end of the day, continue your journey by changing the game of the space. A living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. I don't know why I said it so like, Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Uh, traveling, fighting, another action done automatically. The player cannot affect them or affect them directly. So yeah, if you didn't know, this game is a, a deck building auto battler roguelike. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of that thing that's not fully digested. Okay, so our stats. It says damage four six. We got our loot. More like a loot hero. I think I remember that this was a grove nearby, and these are even. Are these even my memories, or do they belong to that slime? Grab the card and put it in a suitable spot. Here. Okay, I had to put it in the tutorial spot. That makes sense. Okay, so that's just my stats, 8 to 12. If I look over here, Wasteland, there's no, absolutely nothing here. Well, except slime. 5% chance to spawn slime once a day. All right, and then here's our items. Looks like these are grayed out for some reason. These ones we can definitely equip. We can't equip boots yet? We'll get boots eventually, I'm sure. Um... Uh, heals to you whenever I enter that. A gentle rustling of leaves, cracking of a dry branch, and a feeling of being watched. Spawns a rat wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Alright. So that's what the different tiles do. So basically, I get the... My deck is the various tiles I can put down. And I can, uh... Control what I fight. And realistically, you're thinking probably, I wouldn't want to fight anything. Oh, forest rat wolf. Tell me the lore. Tell me your lore. I would write some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as as a bad damn. Is it good that nobody's listening? I'm listening, buddy. You can get new items uh, and cards during battle, as you probably already know this. Some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. By hovering over an item or card, you can inspect its properties. Uh, this one has vampirism. That's lifesteal, baby. A little less damage, but you always want the lifesteal. This is forest. A uh, thick forest. Where do I, oh, I can just put it anywhere. Okay. Uh, it's a magnificent. It's a magnificent appearance. Gives you strength. Gives you plus two more HP and plus two more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. All right. Then what's this one? This is the for This put the forest anywhere, right? And like, put the forest here, and we'll put this rock up here. Great. So there's a mountain over there, and here's this forest. Really, just like new. The branches, the stones in my backpack are sure sign of that. Some of your actions will use your resources that you will need later on, but for right now, that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Continue your journey by changing game mode space. Right click the switch. 
Okay, you can just right click our space. Okay. Play this game one handed. I think it's time to get some rest. Uh, the game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you or the fangs and claws are your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. So that's the special animation. Um, if I retreat, I lose all. I keep all. Re yeah, let's retreat. I guess it's a uh, you know, got a lot of what we can actually do with our two extra resources. It's cold and dark. Here's a small fire to solve both these problems. Uh, nice place to set up camp. All right, so this is. I like the music. All right, so this is what we're okay. So we put down resources on the map with our deck, and we do the loop to get resources from the cards from our deck to give us material to make things. Like we make a campfire, which is a wood and stone. I know that from Valheim. I should upload a video of that, but I never will. A common campfire, warm and cozy. Monsters keep away from it. There's a nice spot to have some rest between your travels. It's also the center of your camp and a starting point for your journey. So here's Max, 20% of HP. Uh, I guess I had to put it right there in the center, don't I? Uh, right. Heal, yeah, okay. What else can I do? Expedition? That's where I start my expeditions, of course. What, what, is, what is this? Herbalist hut. Uh, potion shield for 4%, uh, we get potions. You can take up to three potions with you. Two potions are filled at the camps. Unlocks the swamp card. Unlocks the ability to craft tools. Get the supply depot as well. Where's the supply depot? Oh man, so some of these are. Wait, what do you mean? Is that like an upgrade that you have to do? Probably have to do an upgrade. I don't understand what what these uh. I'm trying to point with my mouse, but like it goes away. Like the thing that's right here. What's that red little thing? That's my issue. Smelter, a farm. Locks the blood grove. Ten percent of the campfire. All right, all right. Let's, let's do this. Jump back into the expedition. Uh, we're only like seven minutes in. Let's do this. To be the loop hero. This path. Everything is wrong, but I remember. It's like a completely different place. And it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Ellipses. Like I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I am the world worst savior of all. Let's do it. If you have an issue reading the text, I did see there was a normal text option and then a dyslexic text option. So I saw on Twitter people were complaining about the text a little bit, uh, which I think, I, I, I mean, for me, I can read it fine. So I think it's no big deal. Basic shield, equip that. I dropped him. That's the hero. We have plus eight percent damage. I like being able to read stuff. You know, that's just me. All right, uh, mountain. I have plus HP for, I, for every adjacent rock and mountain. So then we want to put it like in the center, right? So we can be surrounded. It's only logical, right, Captain? Oh wait, wait when do we get these other things? Are not regen? Well, we don't have a ring, so we want that. We don't have a sword, we want that. What do you do? Thirteen, thirteen. Artificial life. Liquid. Can I read that buff? Whatever. Alright, meadow. Uh, earth covered with a thick carpet of grass. Nothing really interesting unless you're a cow, of course. Heals 2 HP. I'm about to sneeze. Can't wait to look at that in the video. First blood? What's first blood? What's that achievement for? That's, I got the achievement first blood for killing 5 it. Right, let's pause. What's happening here? Uh, spawns wolves. You want we want wolves, right? Let's uh spawn wolf there. It's oblivion. A bit of delicious magic has anything to be totally forgotten. Race an established tile, race your monsters from the road. Alright. every adjacent rock or mountain. So we want to be adjacent to rocks and mountains. Alright? That's simple enough. We'll have a nice little meadow area. I think. Alright. Going through. Just making our way through so far. Got another mountain. Let's 
Hmm. Alright, everything's good. A road lantern. A small spot of light is going to decrease the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. The effects of that lanterns can stack. Do we want to do that? Like, I mean, we get loot based off of what we kill, so speaking of which. So realistically, we want as much loot as possible. So fighting things would... We don't want to fight things. I mean, we... Yeah. We want to keep fighting. Alright, what's this right here? Stable branches. Somehow memory of these sticks wasn't lost. 12 pieces will form a beam of wood. Ooh, a kite shield. It's just a different aesthetic. And what is this? Ration. No rations for one food supply. Ten pebbles. One preserved rock. Alright. Simple enough. Is there a... Times two button. There we go. Like any proper auto battler game, you have to have a way to like toggle the speed. It knows itself. The game knows. All right, all right. Let's make him. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze again. All right. We can't put down these groves yet. We have a we have a wall of shield, a shield wall, if you will. Oh. Uh all right. Get that out of me. Spider cocoon. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's make it grow. Maybe I shouldn't be putting them all together. Okay. Silky Bastion of Eight-Legged Hunters. It spawns a spider on an adjacent tile once a day. Alright. <laughs> Add vampires to battles on adjacent battles. Alright. Um... Blad. What's over here? <laughs> All right, then we got our rocks and mountains. Rocky, rocky mountain, mountain. All right, our meadows. Blooming meadow. Flowers get a feel for the world and bloom with pleasant smells. Why was that? Huh. Huh. There's no way to really test this theory, huh? All right, we'll just continue with our journey. We got we got a big old Grove Street. We got a Slimeu. Destroy him. I have a bunch of level one loot. Nothing's looking too fancy as far as loot wise. Add another rock. Add another rock. Another meadow. Where do we put the meadow? Oh, let's test this. Okay, so if it's near something, noticeable change. This is enough to change turn a cavern into a butterfly, a seed into a sprout, or a drop of water. Twenty changes will make a metamorphosis. All right, we drop the wolf boy. Uh, Wait. Whoa, wait. Stop. Stone Giant can support itself, uh, support the sky itself if it weren't already gone. 120 HP, so we get more max HP. 5 HP for every adjacent. Fuck. Alright, we know the issue that we just made. It We can't put anything up here, so therefore it loses the total bonus it could get. Uh, I spawned a harpy every two days. Alright, well we goofed. This is the learning. This is the first run. We're learning. We're learning together as a unit. Alright. What is this? What is a, a battlefield? A cemetery? A place for the dead and the living occasionally? Spawns with some scaly boys. Uh, what's a battlefield? Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. Let's just keep this away from adjacent tiles. Uh, the cemetery... Uh, ooh, cemetery right there. I'm, I'm really just spitballing. You know, just to test the... Alright, so... Rocks will also make that better. What if I just put this road lantern... Um... Yeah, do you think I just block out this battlefield with the, the lantern? Maybe. Maybe that's the secret synergy we need. Wait, that's a blue buckler and a new ring. We should look at that loot. Uh, of course, it's blue. This is better loot. Evasion or regen. We're not even ever getting hurt. I see that harpy flying by. That's interesting. 
Ooh, we got a spider. It's living, that son of a bitch. All right, dead. More spider cocoons, we'll take those. Oblivion and a treasury. Wait. Oh, wow, that's a lot of enemies I'm about to run into. Uh, a treasury. Gives a random resource after placing anything on a can't be built. Can't be built next to anything. But gives random resources when surrounded? Okay. Huh. Put this right here. We could do a vampire street for funsies, right? Like, it's like, this is the uh, vampires all up and down the street. Vampire street. That's ominous. Uh, a level two ring. Just three defense. Well, it's a higher number. By that logic, we just keep doing it. Okay, this is our first, like, test taste of, like, real fighting, boys. Alright, we got no real, no, no good loot. It's alright, because we're gonna knock out that guy, we're gonna get another meadow. Give me another spider cocoon. No, oh, that's a little two-shield. It's more defense, but we want the evasion, right? Right? Like, nine evasion is better than a few extra defense? In theory? Ooh, what's this ring? Damage all counter. Alright. Counter! Counter! Full counter! Oh, seven deadly sins in this meat? Oh wait, we're, we're still fighting. I'm sorry. What a, what a ridiculous notion. Wait, that's level four. Break him! Road Lantern? I, I, I. Make sure we stay safe. What is this? What is that creature? Okay. Feel like we're getting some decent loot right now. We got another level four axe. That one's weaker. Dead. Drop him. Level four sword. Not better. I see you loot. That's a skeleton. Alright, we'll add another battlefield, and we can just put this in this region, because it's kind of funny. What is that? A goblin can't. Spawns a goblin on an adjacent tile a day. Appears every ten... for every ten mountain... Oc tiles? Or mountain oc tiles? Let's put that down anyways. Oh wait, I should've added the mountains to this. The mountains get bonuses for each other. Oh yeah. Hello, skeleton. Has a soul. Is that important to me? Uh-oh. Oh, he is for 30. Damn, it's 36.25 per second. What is this? Shield? Stop! <laughs> 13 defense. Well, I mean, everything's good. This is no matter what I'm equipping this. What a ridiculous notion that I'm, like, reading anything. Alright, let's go. What is that? What is that? Goblin? Stop! Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves. Never give us all you've got. Sai, you have no idea what's going on, right? Why didn't you help me restore order in this world first? And then you can do anything you want. Goblins must rob. No other order in the world. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any uh, valid ob objection here. Oh, wait. I do have one. How about... <laughs> How about I get hit in the face? It's strange how these creatures appear here on their own. Maybe it means everything actually not so means everything is actually not so bad, and that the world is trying to restore itself, or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Oh, your commentary. This ring, eight percent. All right, so it's obviously it's more counter. It's equal to counter, and we get more evasion, vampirism, but we lose our AOE. But like, fuck the AOE. Are you a mimic? You're a mimic. I was promised fat loot, not a mimic. Right, this shield is a level lower, less defense, damage to all, magic damage, but higher counter. We want, we, we just want, I like counter. I really do like counter. Regen, 
No, we just want. We'll take the vampirism that we have. I mean, we can switch if we need to. Right? Like, it's not like that's uh, too far away from us. We no. What do you mean, no? You want to save the world and you want to ask for help. The R answer is no. How did you. But why no? We see you far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of the sky, but it doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine. I don't fully understand it, but tell me about your version. What does to save the world mean to you? My progeny and my my progeny and my kin, for them to be strong and to live, it's a part of their cycle of life and death. And it's it is life. It is the world. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings. Younglings. And life will go on, and how and how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starving. Please try to see reason. If my mission is to see Tarpies can have all the skies and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. <laughs> hey, he, they're not as strong as the skeleton. So I'm not threatened. I feel awful by fixing one evil and becoming the source of another. There is no home for harpies except the highest mountains, but there is no food there. I can't imagine how they manage to survive in their mountains if their mountains were cut from reality. Alright, 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 alright. What are we gonna do? Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we have, uh, wow, two, plus 256 max HP. Yikers. Alright. Alright, I see you ghosts, I see a goblin, we got, uh, skeletons. Back off, human! There's a map. There's a- I didn't see the map. A vampire, where were your land- where are your lands? If your farmers- if your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer no more lands, no more flock, only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger! Save yourself while you still can, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every blood, drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me, and I will set this crumbled world right. Right. I'm doing this just not for myself, but for everyone, in the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. Okay, he still didn't hit as hard as the skeleton, but he has vampirism, and he's tankier than the skeleton. What's this armor? It's not more max age. I'll take it. It was, I mean, we, we're not worrying about the max HP anyways. We're not full health, so max HP shouldn't be affecting us, so we shouldn't be worrying about it. I realize the video is 23 minutes. I haven't even looked at the t time. Vampires often own our... Like, I'm constantly looking at the time normally when I play, but, like, not even phasing me that there's, like, time that I need to be paying attention to for this video. I've just been playing, honestly, and sort of speaking. I don't speak to myself when I'm playing alone, obviously, but, like, normally I'm worried about being overshooting the clock and I'm having a great time I'm not even it's not even phasing me like I'm just anyway but this won't do it all now they are just pale shadows of their former selves both physically and mentally apparently their blood of other creatures can't save, sustain them he wasn't joking about this hunger even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power of the virus one else's life ghost oh you're the harpy I thought you were a ghost we got new items though we gotta look at that stuff Alright, that's not good. Max HP, which we want. Damage to all, which we want. You know, we'll, we'll take this because realistically, why not? Uh, ooh. Let me think. So, okay, that's not going to be good no matter what. Right, so, realistically, this is 16 to 20. Right? So, real, yeah, yeah, the axe is better because if you're just adding magic damage, I imagine the magic damage is just for that. What are you? Oh, what's a beacon? A worthless landmark in this world with no direction, plus 40% movement when it's raised, 20% ah, attack speed for all units. Doesn't that F me though? Let's just put this here, just because, you know, just because it's the, it sits in the center. Probably should have put it there. Yeah, this, this probably seems like not smart, but I just did it there because I think it just thematically looks better there. Holy, oh my god, we're just swinging like madmen. To sustain ourselves through this, through this damned world. Right, spider cocoon. Some more spiders. 
increase the range of Grove Street. Did I just put this beacon here? Nice! Whoa. Whoa. Hold on, everything needs to stop. This is the uh, all hands on deck. Okay, none of this is really. These don't look like they're much better, to be honest. Alright, this ring, though. Damage is all defense attack speed. No, we, we need the vampirism. All we got were some decent rings out of that, but not enough vampirism to satiate us. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure that bloomed before I do anything else. A meadow. I will br burst my way through this. I should really start doing the outro for this video, right? Like, I should start trying to pretend like the video is about to end. Knowing damn well. Damn, it's all mad. This is the same attack speed, but not just. No, I like the, the AoE effect. Oh man, there's a lot of things on the screen. Drop the skeleton before he drops us. That's a big, scary thing. Skeleton, skeleton attacks hella slow. Thank God. Another cemetery. Let's make this a whole goddamn street. Oh, oh goblin, goblin leader. Oh man. Rage and rage after an ally dies. So hopefully, hopefully the hero is targeting him. Nope, he's going after everyone that's not him. Now he's in rage. Now we have an issue. He's more in rage, probably. No. What is this? Stop. Six. Okay. More defense. Damage to all. No vampirism, but we'll take it. Attack speed. Evasion that's more sustainability. I know I'm like going against what I say earlier. Oh god, I thought that was gonna be another mimic realistically. Evasion counter defense. Yikes, the damage increase though. And like, it's not like it doesn't give 10% evasion. We'll take it. We get another ring. Or another mimic. Not a mimic. It didn't get mad when we hit it like the last one did. Whoa. No vampirism on this, so we can't rock it. I would really like to rock this. But we're not gonna. We just need to hit hard and survive. I really need to not keep putting beacons down, but I think they're funny. So I'm just going to start putting them down everywhere, realistically. And I'll just have to deal with the shitty consequences as they come. You know? Realistically, I'm the one that's causing this terrible issue that's about to be. Another beacon. I know what card we're getting rid of when we edit our deck first. And it's probably a beacon. <laughs> Give me more room for mountains, please. I need no beacons in my deck. Give me more room for rocks. I need more rocks. Oh uh, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll start to do the outro for this, even though... What is this? Map completion. Uh, when this bar is filled, the boss of this chapter will appear on the... Top. Okay. Oh, wait. Are we going to get rocked by this wave of, like... Oh, okay. Never mind. We got it. We got it. We got it. Don't know why I even consider being worried. Attack speed, evasion, damage to all. Let's take it. Let's just take it because we want to try and DPS everything down. That's the only thing that we have vampirism on, so we definitely can't get rid of that ring either, though. Like, that's our that's our sustenance. We need that ring because we're basically dead until... Huh. Alright, let's think. Do you have better vampirism? No. Magic damage. See, this is like it's damage all down. Max HP down. Magic damage is increased. Yeah, you can't take that. We want to take that, but we can't. All right, we have another treasury, and we can do something like this, right? All right. All right. I don't have anything that'll reach it though. Well, let's just extend Grove Street because you know how it is. You know, I just I can't stand the idea of not having enough goddamn spiders on the map. So let's do that. Take this barrage. Can we handle? Oh, dude, we're just evading everything. Just evade and counter. Evade and counter. Just bob and weave. I said I was gonna do the outro for this video, and I still haven't. 
I keep like getting sidetracked because I just really am enjoying myself. <laughs> Which is good, right? That, that's a good thing. Stop enjoying yourself. Alright, we're in Little Grove Street. Let's uh, try to pop this other treasury, right? So we're gonna do this. Add this to Grove Street because that's still funny. Maybe we should try and save ourselves from some pain. No, that, that'd be a disrespect to Grove Street. Let's, um, uh... Maybe we should get rid of these skeletons. Dude, I don't want to deal with skelly boys anymore. That's kind of terrifying. Alright, so that rock works there. That works there. Will we be... Okay, we might just... The video might just end where we die, because we're getting pretty close, I imagine, to just getting dropped. Ooh, all the dogs are swinging so fast, but we're evading. They might be able to get, like, 900 attacks in per second. They're almost getting an attack in per second, actually. But we're evading so many hits. Come on, man. They're evading a bunch of hits, too. This is hard. Oh, no. I wanted to look at the gear. What is this? Ah, fucking... We need to give the vampirism. That's the worst part, is we can't deny the sheer number that it gives. Uh... Wow, that's a lot more damage. Oh, but we need the evasion to survive. We don't have enough HP to not... Now let's make a cemetery street, because I just kind of think it's funny now. I don't know if that's good. It's probably realistically bad. Alright. I almost tracked another treasure. We're going through a cemetery town. This is Halloween. Come on, evasion. Don't let... Okay, see, we can't take hits from him. That doesn't. That's very bad. <laughs> we can. We're not. We can't afford to take a hit. Hello. Twelve percent vampirism. No, we need the evasion. What world? All right, we're gonna get to the boss. That's my only goal. Is we're gonna get to the boss, and we're gonna win. Uh, lows of so increase all creatures' attack speed by ten percent. Whoa, seven. It's not vampirism! No, let's just take it. It has 70% counter and 1.2 HP per second. Maybe this is where we lose. But we gotta... Yeah, we're not We're not healing. We're just evading and countering. We're just bobbing and weaving. But that doesn't sustain us. Which is not good. Which is definitely bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, we can fight slimes. Slimes aren't scary. But we just don't have any way to sustain, so everything we take, we just lose. Hey, another slime in a treasure chest. I'm sure this will be kosher. Fat loot. Give me the almost ultimate. Uh, give me the most ult. Yes! Regen and. Oh, wow. The rapier of a lifetime. Alright, alright. Where are we gonna put this? Uh... I don't know. I probably shouldn't be putting those down realistically. Vampire Street. It's very scary to live on Vampire Street. Let's put this rock here. Oh, yeah, we'll see the fat loot we just got. Uh, damage to all. Yes. Evasion is down by a lot, but we get vampirism, which is the sustenance we need. We need some type of sustenance. And that's what we got. And it might just be a little too late, though. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna put this here. Come on, Super Mountain. Stay strong. Some more fat loot. Not a mimic. Every time we hit it, I get a little scared. It, like uh, my heart jumps in my chest a little bit. More damage. One percent less vampirism. Wow, this shield though looks cool. Not enough vampires. Alright, now that I'm, now I'm looking at the time. This is going to be probably one of the longest videos, but, uh... You know, you can't help it. It's weird, because I was thinking about, oh, what the hell are you? You hit hard, but you also hit as slow as, uh... Oh, please don't ever touch me with your freaking go Goliath-ass hands, dude. You need to die. You don't have to hit me again. Oh, thank God. 
Uh, that's a good one. Dude, that's a lot of extra damage, unironically. And then that gives 12% vampirism. Uh, we might do this. We might switch. Alright, let's do this. Let's add another vampire mansion because I. We probably, realistically, we shouldn't be doing that anymore. I'm almost positive we shouldn't be doing this anymore. But I just sort of think, again, that it's funny. And we will make. Uh, you know, let's make sure we just don't get fucked anywhere on Grove Street, huh? Uh, we gotta remember, we can use the Oblivion cards to, like, clear out the path. Oh, we're about to die. One more hit and we're dead. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. You've died in battle. Oh, wait, this is what we lose? Oh man, we don't keep nearly that. That's a shame, but that makes sense. What is this building? I can't believe it. Hey, everybody, the boy has managed to return. Survivors, does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where does this come from? There's still places without darkness? We don't know where we came from, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached the conclusion because of the abandoned luggage left over on our daily rations. Each day, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, has never ever been with us. It's like we can't, we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly, it's like that. People disappear every day, and we instantly forget that they existed. Almost as if we forgot this place that we came from, and our families, and maybe even themselves, ourselves. <clears throat> ah, pardon me. My name is Yota. That's a part I still remember, and nobody else, um, nobody else's memory is much better than shape. And shape, better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I had managed to return? That means you remembered I was here. Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we wandered around in this emptiness around. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags. Here, a real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remember the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted, but we're, we'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad to help you. Uh, just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving this group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you for now. I just want you a place to return to and a place where I can hear other people's voices. That's nice. That's gonna do the outro, but they keep talking. <coughs> Regardless, this is a long video. This is a return to form. Hello, I mean... Let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments below. This was the first run, the first loop of Loop Hero, a very fun game. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, uh, this is coming up tomorrow. I'm going to leave it up to you guys if you would be interested. Maybe if I made this like a, a series, maybe an ongoing series. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I doubt most people will have gotten to the end of a almost 40 minute video but if you did i do appreciate it again let me know what your thoughts of this game is very good it's gonna go into the ed's favorites playlist very quickly very fun um but yes please let me know what you think uh if i should do a series on this i'll when i do my channel update video i'll be sure to ask that same question but thank you guys i love you this was a very fun game loop hero check it out bye bye This thing is called Riding the Bull.